Hi folks, in today's video I'm going to be showing you this Wild Country Helm Compact 110 As you can see it is pretty windy out here so it's a bit of a baptism of fire for me at this tent I've not had it out of the packaging yet so let's get going see how I get on in this uh, windy conditions Alright, according to Terra Nova the tent weighs 1.97 kilograms on my scales it was just over 2 kilograms hopefully when I cut this off it will save a gram or two it sleeps one obviously the fly sheet's 4000 mm hydrophobic head and the poles are a super flex alloy let's finally get this thing out the one thing I always forget to do is when I've got a new tent I forget how it's been packed so I'm just going to try and take a mental note of how this is in the pack Right <coughs> Just gonna stash this. <coughs> right, so there's my poles and my pegs. So the pegs that come with it are just these sort of standard wild country V pegs. <laughs> there's the door. Doors round here. I'll try and pitch the door to the camera. Okay, let's see. Aha. So the red pole matches up with the red sleeves. Makes sense. I'll thread this through. You can see there, there's a natural bend in the pole. I assume that'll go bang in the center. And then Put these in here. Right. Now for the blue poles. This will go underneath the red pole. <laughs> Imagine I was on a mountain doing this. I'm not doing a very good job. Right, that was pretty easy I suppose. Let's try and bang in some pegs here. Jeez, oh! oh. Ah, here we go, now we're talking. There you go, first pitch, straight out. Didn't look at any instructions, didn't watch any videos. A couple little hiccups here, but it's up. Let's say, uh, take you around the tent. I've tried to keep the spine of the blue pole as straight as possible. So from here right over to the other side, that is as straight as I could possibly go. And the same goes for the red pole. I've tried to keep that like a spine straight as possible. And that just gives you that nice shape. He's obviously clipping to there, either side. You've got nice line locks as well. This could have been tightened actually. You've got a small hood here for some ventilation. And you've got these smaller peg out points as well, 
what I've tried to do here is follow the stitching down and run the same course with the guy line and the peg but yeah it's alright actually I'm quite chuffed with that not bad for a £140 tent let's see what the space is like inside okay so we've got a little bit of storage space here in the porch I like the idea here, you've got the zip so you could put other things in there as well, that is really good I'm quite impressed with that, it's a good idea First thing I've noticed is the headroom it's quite good I'm 5 foot 10 and I've got room to sit up here just sort of touch that so that there's a space at the bottom there, you've got some storage here there's plenty of room for my face as well I can get up pretty much without touching it if I was a wee bit taller you'd get away with it I think maybe if you're on or just a wee bit higher than 6 feet tall you can see there if I move down a wee bit there's plenty of room so behind I've got another cubby hole here another small cubby hole there a little attachment for a lantern like here you've got a, a mesh window so obviously you get your ventilation well to summarise I really do like this tent first impressions are yes I did once own a wild country Zephros 2 I didn't get on with that first pitch I didn't like it I tried again and I ended up selling that um, whereas this time I just liked it straight away, which doesn't always happen. A uh, couple of hiccups just pitching it to begin with, that was to be expected. Um, I've not watched any how to pitch videos, I've never read any instructions, I just flung it up and so from that perspective I'm, I'm really happy with how it went up. Uh, the wind's outside but they're about 20 miles per hour, but yeah, other than that I don't have much more to add, other than I'll leave you with some footage of the tent. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Cheers.